Hey guys, what's happening? So, I was in the market to uh, figure out a probe situation, and uh, I saw this here today, and it looked pretty awesome. It was uh, looked pretty tiny. It's almost like micro. It's like a micro BL touch. Um, so I'm designing a new extruder system, and I didn't know if I was going to go with like a clicky type probe or BL touch, um, but I know I wanted something small and light because the whole concept behind my printer build was speed. Um, so I definitely wanted something light, but I didn't really want the the complexity of a uh, clicky probe, you know, where you actually have to take the probe off, go back, see the probe, run custom macros. I just figured that just, you know, might be too much room for error with that. I wanted to kind of keep it a little bit more simple. Um, I mean, obviously I've been messing with BL touches and CR touches for, for since they came out. Um, but I do actually like this new probe. It's super light and tiny. And uh, <clears throat> let me show you my uh, um, my hot end here. So I'm actually going to do a video about the bullet. I'm actually building a thing called the uh, Orca Supercube. And uh, here's the extruder system of it. Um, but I haven't done a review of this yet. But I just wanted to show you the, uh, the Piku Probe. I mean, this thing is tiny. So I'm going to go out right now. I'm going to go to my test bench, and I'll show you on the actual uh, extruder system. Um, but it's tiny. I mean, compared to like a like a regular like CR CR touch or BL touch, um, yeah, and it's super light too. So it's almost like I think that you know adding the wire. I don't know if you'd save that much weight with a with a, with a clicky probe. So all right. So before I go to the test bench, let me show you my uh, clipper configuration here. So originally when I was messing with it, I was trying to get to go with the BL touch settings and. It would kind of work, but the probe wouldn't stay down. So um, did some searching online and found this configuration. Um, and it actually seems to work so far. So there's a cool little macro to it to test a probe up and down. But uh, yeah, it's pretty much the same as the uh, BL touch settings. Uh, nearly identical, but you're using probe and a couple different little things here. Um, and I think I had to activate this low or high. I can't remember, but. Uh, the pin, the probe pin, to get it to stay down uh, when it was actually going probing up. Um, let's take a look. I'm actually running an EBB36, which is like a big tree tech uh, NEMA 14 can adapter. Um, but yeah, so it's not, it won't work your work your typical BL test settings. I couldn't get the probe to stay down. So, all right, let's go back out to the test bench and uh, see what this thing looks like in real life. You know, I did actually make a video about the HGX light, but this is the extruder system that you just saw in the uh, Fusion 360. Uh, so I'm almost done with this. This is actually the XY gantry of it. But um, um, let me take a look at this. So that's the probe down there. I mean, it's hard to even describe how small this thing is. I mean, I guess I'll bring it before my other printers here. You can see it's a CR touch right there. But, um, I mean, that thing is gigantic compared to the the Biku. Yeah. So it's like, man, I mean, you know, why go with a clicky probe when this thing is so tiny? You know, you don't have to deal with macros and parking. Yeah, it's cool. I mean, I, I mean yeah, it's definitely cool to be able to, you know, remove the, the clicky probe and put it back on. It's almost like a, like a CNC tool change. But um, let me show you the print that's going on. But yeah, cool thing, you know. Um, obviously, you can get it on Amazon for 26 bucks, but... Right, here's a printer that's going on. So, the idea behind this printer is um, ultra high speed. So I'm in the final phases of uh, designing the parts. You know, quad belt gantry. Uh, but all right, guys.